Hello everybody, my name is Coach Shane and it is time to give you the answers for EC number 9, English Challenge number 9. Now, it was this picture and we see Russell Crowe in the movie A Beautiful Mind. And he is standing at a blackboard looking over a huge math equation. It looks very, very difficult. Well, your mission was to choose one of these sentences. Sentence number one. These equations are anything but simple. Sentence number two. These equations are nothing but simple. Sentence number three. These equations are all but simple. And sentence number four, these equations are everything but simple. Oof, pretty difficult. They all seem quite similar. Well, the answers are number one and number four are actually both very possible. These equations are anything but simple. These equations are everything but simple. Yes. Some people will say number three, these equations are all but simple. So that's possible in daily English. However, grammatically, number one and number four are the correct answers. Let me explain. Anything but simple. Anything but simple means not simple. Not at all simple. Nothing but simple. Nothing but simple means completely simple. Totally simple. All but simple means almost simple. Basically simple. Essentially simple. However, sometimes it does mean not at all simple. But it's supposed to mean almost. And number four, everything but simple is the same as number one, not at all simple. So I hope you're not confused. Now I've made five example sentences for each phrase and hopefully those sentences will help you understand how to use these great expressions. So let's look at anything but simple. And once again, that means it is not simple at all. Not simple at all. It was anything but easy. It wasn't easy at all. My son is anything but an angel. My son is not an angel at all. My holiday was nothing but relaxing. My holiday was not relaxing at all. I am anything but rich. I am not rich at all. CNN is anything but non-biased. CNN is not non-biased at all. Number two, nothing but simple means completely simple, totally simple. It was nothing but terrible. It was completely terrible. It was horrible. It was nothing but a regular day. It was a completely regular day. Nothing special happened. She told me nothing but lies. She told me lie after lie. Every word out of her mouth was lie, lie, lie. My new home is in nothing but nature. My new home is completely in nature. It was nothing but a pleasure teaching you English. It was completely a pleasure. It was a great pleasure teaching you English. Number three, all but simple, almost simple, basically simple. This math problem is all but impossible. 
This math problem is basically impossible. My project is all but finished. My project is almost finished. Our team is all but eliminated. Our team is almost eliminated. The building was all but deserted. The building was basically deserted. The milk carton is all but empty. The milk carton is almost empty. And the last one, everything but simple. Not simple at all. The movie was everything but funny. The movie was everything. It was sad, it was exciting, it was dramatic, but it was not funny at all. The shopping mall was everything but empty. The shopping mall was busy, it was loud, but there were so many people. It was everything but empty. It was not empty at all. There were many, many, many people. Love is everything but eternal. Love is beautiful. Love is warm. Love is loving. Love is fantastic. But love is not eternal at all. I'm everything but handsome. I'm smart. I'm sophisticated. I'm rich. I'm funny. But I am not handsome at all. This hamburger is everything but healthy. This hamburger is delicious, it's cheap, it's huge, but it is not healthy at all. So I hope those example sentences help you understand English challenge number eight a little better. Those math equations on the Blackboard, they looked really difficult. They were everything but simple. They're anything but simple. They are not simple at all. Now please do your best on EC number nine, English challenge number nine. And please, if you like these challenges, share them with your friends, okay? Use your Facebook and Twitter and Orkut and vk.com and whatever there is, please share it and let's grow our community bigger and bigger. That's it. Thank you very much. And I'll see you for the explanation of EC9 in a week or two. Bye-bye.